Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV. I'm back with another episode of Electrician Simulator. This is part three. So let's see what we got here to do next. Let's see. This guy's got a bathroom light to fix again. Oh, that's the old guy we did before. We uh, did work for him. Okay, it's incredible how far technology has advanced. I saw a UV lamp commercial the other day. It helps to wash and disinfect hands. I got it. And even though it looks like an ordinary desk lamp, I believe it works. <laughs> I think this guy got ripped off. It needs to be plugged in and it had a special bulb fitted. I just don't remember where to put it or where I put it. I remember thinking about it before bed. Can you help me again? Poor old guy getting on them infomercials. All right, light up uh, the washing stand and fix the socket. And what are the suggested items? I got a screwdriver. Let's see. It's just his table. Why does he got a... Uh, yeah, this guy needs to... He needs some help. Okay. Let's see. It sounds like he's got something... Like the light in his house. And he doesn't know where it is. I probably gotta go in there and find it. Let's go do it. Trust the old truck. And we're back at this place. Luckily I remember where the fuse box is here, so here it is. Let's turn everything off. This door is open. Oh, I can buy stuff while I'm in his house? I don't got my inbox, so... That's weird. Okay. Got a little remote. Plug the cable, to power it on. Okay, let's see what's in here. So, if I remember right, that was locked last time. His room was. I wonder if there's any doors that I can open up for- oh, here we go. Nothing. A lot of books. Oh man, did I find his diary? I did. Can I open it? Rotate. Zoom. I don't think I can. Why would it have me do that? I guess I can just look at it. Okay. Where's the light bulb? Ah, there it is. E27 bulb, UV light. Found it. So, this is the bathroom. Desk lamp. I already forgot if I turned this on. Yep, okay, I turned it off. I got the memory of a squirrel. Advanced view. Let's take the bulb out, put in the fancy UV bulb. And apparently the socket is broken as well. Let's check it out. Let's put my certificate study into the test. There we go. It's connected, but it's connected wrong, and it's missing a wire. Pull all that out. So if I remember right, the for a single plug, the blue one, the neutral goes on the right. The protected cable goes in the middle. And then the electricity one goes on the left. Okay. Let's put it back together. And let's get this plugged in. Boom. Connect and turn the lamp on. Turn off the lamp. Turn it on. Okay. I guess it's on and let's go get the power on. Flip all the breakers. Boom. Yeah. Uh, this guy definitely needs to find out that he's being ripped off. Oh well, made me some money. And 
Let's shut this. Be a good electrician. And we're done. All the Christmas lights. Oh, that looks creepy. They got a bunch of newspapers all over the windows, too. Crazy people. Light up the washing stand. Fix the socket. Connect and turn on the lamp. Find a UV a bulb. Change the bulb. Seven minutes. Probably could have done it faster, but... You got some good money and experience. I'm almost level six now. Ooh, and another certificate popping up. That one's cool looking. Oh, that looks dangerous. We're working with cables. Let's work on the workbench stuff first before we get into the next area. A mixer or a... <laughs> or a toaster that looks like I've thrown in a lasagna. Let's do the toaster. Ed Bread, world's worst diet. I'm hungry, but I can't eat. My toaster is broken, and I use it to make my favorite dish. What dish, you ask? Slightly warm bread, commonly known as toast, or toasties to some. It was the world's best diet, but since I can't have any toast, it's now the world's worst diet. I tried to make lasagna, but my toaster quickly showed me how it feels about it. Please forgive the sauce leftovers. Slices ain't poppin', slices ain't toasties. Toasties be cold. <laughs> okay. Let's get this fixed for him. For Ed Bread. Is there any sauce leftovers like he was talking about? This thing looks pretty clean. Okay. Where do we... Okay, there's a knob. Handle. Ah, there they are. Got screws on the bottom. Take that one out. And get the rusty ones fixed. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Take the upper case off. And there's the inner workings of a toaster. So I'm going to have to take this off with a soldering iron. And then it looks like over here too. Can I take out the power button? Oh, there's screws on here I can take off. And there's one hiding. So I'm gonna have to inspect the circuit board. What about this thing? Let's get rid of the wires. Now unscrew it. We shall call this the bread holder. And now what? I kind of screwed all of it. How do we remove it? It's impossible. Oh, no, there's screws here. And rusty one. I'd imagine it'd be the same on the other side then. Yep. More rusty ones. Let's pull off the inner case front. And even more screws. This one's got a lot of screws. Electrode rod. It's gonna make me run out of my rust remover. Pull off the screws. And now we gotta get the heating elements out. I'm gonna check all those. The inner case, bottom case. As it doesn't even fit into the container on the left. Okay. Let's go search through the printed circuit board. We're going to need to use the ohm reader. Okay, that's broken. Resistor. Condensers are good. Knob socket. More condensers. 
Resistors. An inductor. Ooh. Okay, so we got a broken electrode and a key socket. So, we're gonna have to take these off and replace them. Your gun and your replaced for five dollars. This one needs to be taken off. And this is gonna cost three dollars. Oh, wow, look at that. I was guessing on that one. That's cool. Uh, electro. And there we go. So I think this board, oh, it still says unknown, so I don't think it's completely fixed yet. I'm missing something. I checked all these, but well, not that. Uh, multi, okay, hold on. No, I don't want to buy another upgrade. I want to check, okay. It still says unknown. What else am I missing? Resistors. And let's see. It's gonna be right in my in right in front of me. And oh, electrode bottom. There we go. They're hiding. Found it. Okay, so that's good. Let's look at the inner casing. Good. Heating elements. That one's good. That's broken, so I gotta replace that. It's going to cost ten dollars. No. I was way off on that one. Okay, another one to replace. That's a good one. And your case is good, and the bottom of the case is good. Okay, now we just gotta put it back together. Put the bottom on. And we got a lot of screws to put in here now. Heating elements. And they have those two bars that went across the bottom and the top. And I gotta screw those in. There we go. Then I'll be able to put the case on it. To seal it up. And then on the sides are the screws. And on the bottom. After this side. And we gotta put the chip in there. circuit board. This one's got four screws. And we gotta solder the wires back on. And gotta connect it up top. On the bottom. There we go, it's coming together. And we got a handle. A knob. We gotta screw it together and it should be ready. And Mr. Ed Bread can make his toast diet for the rest of his life. Oh, look at that. It's ready. Send it back. Alright, Ed Bread, enjoy your toaster. I'm level 7 now. Let's see. Now we gotta work on a scrambler for Ella Salmon. She can't beat the eggs. My mixer is broken. I was beating eggs and it got awfully messy. I decided to wash it in the kitchen sink to make it all clean and shiny. Eh. Unfortunately, after plugging it in and turning it back on, something went wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Inside, I tried changing the speed, but nothing helped. The light's showing nothing. I don't know what uh, might be the case. It's surely not the water, is it? Please help me. Yeah, uh, Ellis Salmon electronics and water do not go very well together. And it's leaking water out of, out of it. Holy moly. Yeah. Probably not a good idea to wash your electronics. It's like one of one of those fail videos and now I'm working on the actual device that got messed up. Let's test it. Absolutely nothing. It's broken. Okay, let's find all the screws. Oh, there you okay. Let's get the rust off. Rest off that. Those ones are away in there. And 
Okay, it's only on one side. Let's take off the stirrup paddles. They're in good condition. Take out the screws. The case is good. Buttons. Okay. I'm imagine I would imagine the motor would not be in a good quality right now and be probably be broken. And the wiring is probably not good. Oh, wiring's good. And take off the screws. I'm missing one or something. I, I guess I have to do the front first, maybe. Front flap. These are the screws, I know it. Where are they? I took those two out. Took those four out. What is this stuff? Okay, let's work on the chip then. I'll get to that other part. Circuit board. There we go. Did I take the case off first for some reason? Fans off, gearbox. Engine. It's an electric engine, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be broken. Printed circuit board. Let's check it out. Let's get the multimeter. It's a lot easier than saying ohm. Uh, mixer diodes are broken. Let's get it off there. Removed and replaced. Three dollars. And if all the parts are going at that range, I'm gonna be making like 200 bucks off this. So that's good now. The fan inspect is good. Gearbox should be fine. The engine's definitely not. Yep. Okay. So if I want to replace this thing, I'm gonna guess 20 bucks. Twenty dollars. Ah, oh, fifteen. That was close. Okay. Should be it. So let's put it back together. Engine, gearbox, fan, back case, front flap, the chip. And then a whole lot of screws. Let's put that. And that. Okay. Now let's get the electrodes all connected. I think that was all I needed on that. And then get the button on. Okay, I'm definitely missing something now. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Gearbox got to be screwed in. Now what else am I missing? What? Uh, let's see. I have no idea. We got the engine. Got four screws on it. And then we got the two screws there. Are there any other screws that I need? I got the button on. Hmm. All the wires are connected. Assembly is selected. I know it's going to be right in front of me. I'm missing something that it's going to be obvious. It always is. Okay, I found it. It was obvious. There's two screws right at the top. It's like I thought. I'm blind. Okay. 
figured it out. The screws back in. And we need the paddles. Let's test it out. Yeah. It works. Let's get rid of it. Now you can beat all the eggs you want, just don't wash it. In water. What a bad idea. Okay, that looks like that's a good bulb, so I'm gonna keep that in there. And now, let's see what else we got. Looks like Mr. Whitehair is back. What's he want? Hello, these headphones ain't fixed properly. I connected them to my computer and still cannot hear a thing. Unless it's not the headphones, but the sound card. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm sending the card over and I hope it all starts working again. I'm paying for something, aren't I? Right? Right? Hello? Can't... <laughs> I didn't even notice his name was Can't Hear. That's hilarious. Still can't hear a thing. Headphones still not working. Guess the whole sound card isn't working. I'm gonna laugh if this guy's actually just deaf and he can't actually hear anything at all. That's gonna be funny. That's gonna be the whole plot of it. Alright, we got a sound card to work on. Let's see. Test. Nope, it's broken. Maybe he ain't just deaf. Unscrew it. And... Take off the metal plate. Sound card main board. Let's inspect that. There's gonna be tons of stuff to use the multimeter on. Condensers. Those are good. Front panel. Integrated circuits. It's kind of cool how to see how all this works. Especially since it's like everything that's used to do games and all that stuff. It's basically all a computer is. Just a bunch of circuits. Let's see. Oh, that one's broken. Let's remove that one. Ooh, I need to buy the new that uh the tweezers. I don't have those yet. Okay. And replace. Okay, let's work through the rest. Uh, integrated circuit. Condenser. Integrated circuit. Everything's looking good so far. I bet you some of these are gonna be bad. Yep. Headphone. Okay, so let's get that off. And a new one for four dollars. And it still says the main board is unknown, so I'm sure I missed something again. On the backs. Oh, what's those? Right there. Now it's good. Alright, so let's put it back together. Uh, return. And put that on. Screw it back together. Test. And it's good. There we go. 340 bucks for that. It only cost me like $7 or something to get all the parts. That's profit right there. That is money. Okay. Uh, let's see this one. Miko Katu Games. Faulty Mouse. You like to play games, or maybe you enjoy watching others play? Then feel free to visit my channel on EllieTube. Don't forget to subscribe. What was I? Oh, I received a mouse to advertise on my channel, but it doesn't work. I don't know if I, if I broke it or if it was faulty all along. Fix it so I can palm it off onto my viewers. <laughs> okay. So, cannot rewind, the lights won't switch on. This lady just wants to get rid of her faulty equipment. So all the good people watching her channel. 
messed up. Let's see. I probably tested it beforehand. Watch, there's nothing wrong with it. That would be my luck. And here's the inside of a mouse. Let's get rid of the plugs. And... That's the battery in the back, it looks like. DPI panel. And... Oh, screw. Got some screws here. Mouse wheel. And there's some screws on this one. The lens. The lens looks like a switch. It's kind of cool. Can I... Oh, yep. There's the battery. Okay. Let's look at the motherboard on the mouse. Get the multimeter out. Trusty old multimeter. Scroll socket's broken. Pull that bad boy off and replace it. That's reconnected. Looks like my solder gun, our uh, solder gun is gonna be uh, running out soon. It's 19%. I have to replace that. And that's all good. Dio's good. Okay. Good to go. Side panel. And. Side panel socket. That one's good. Let's check out the lens. That's good. Battery is broken. Five dollar batteries. That's so expensive. Inspect. That's good. Mouse wheel. And nope, that's broken. Okay, the LED is broken. Time to take it out. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my tweezers for that too. Yep, tweezers. And replace for two bucks. Okay, and that's good now. DPI panel. Should totally send this back broken. Then when she tries to move her mouse, it's gonna go flying off the screen. Middle case. That's all good. Okay, it looks like everything's good now. Let's put everything back together. Side panel, DPI panel, there's another mouse wheel, and a LED panel there. Okay, and a battery in the back. Now we gotta put the screws in. Screws. Okay, and then there's some uh, wires we gotta deal with. That's plugged in, solder to the battery, and then that. Okay. Two more screws. Upper case. Boom. Let's test it. And we're good. Send it back to her. At least if she throws it to one of the viewers, then it'll uh, it'll be good. And Clint Clank, everything's dirty. For the last two days, everything's been so dusty. People can't see uh, see it only because we've stopped inviting them. Could you be so kind and fix it? It needs to be done so the damn vacuum can finally clean something. It only rolls around and doesn't suck anything up. Don't know why. Maybe it's the wheels or the brush. Can you find out? Not sucking at all. Brush doesn't rotate. It's stuck. It's one of those Roombas or something. Well, automatic vacuum cleaners. Let's see how this thing works. Oh, it's got little sweepers. A lateral brush. The main brush is definitely broken. Let's find these screws. 
and yeah. There we go. Figured out how that I, I can actually move this. This middle mouse click, uh, button on the uh, the roller. So that's nice. And screws. That one's rusty. I think that's... There it is. There's the last one. And why did that go away? Uppercase. Dirt container. Engine plug. This one's a bit more complicated. A lot of screws too. So let's get the plug in off. And that's a rusty one. Circuit board for the plug in. Or the button, my bad. And this is for the engine, I think. One side of that. And it won't let me unscrew that yet. I have to work on something else first, probably. There we go. That must have been in the way. Engine unknown. Okay. Now we got that we can't work on yet either, so we probably have to take this top blade off. Derust it. I don't know what this is. And it won't let me pull it off yet because it's connected underneath. And there we go. Remove that. So that's the sensor. It's big. Must be how it sees where it goes. Plug in for the engine, and the wheel, and the whisk solder. Let's see, we got this one. Take all the screws out. Engine whisk, there should be another one over here. From what we saw on the bottom. Brush plug, left wheel plug. Every one of these screws is rusty. Gotta take these off. My solder gun is almost gone. Can be broken. Take that off. And then that's still connected. Yep, right there. Yeah. How do we take it out? Looks like a plug-in. Okay, we gotta get the top off first, I think. Take that. And any more screws for that? Right there. There we go. Oh, there's the battery bag. This must be this engine for this. Or that might just be the holder for it. The cover. This is for the wheels, I'm sure. Brush case, yeah. Let's get the wheel cases off. Okay, and then wheel plugs. Unplug them. And that has the wheel engine. Now, that's the battery. All the screws are in there. There we go. And now we got this board. There's gonna be a lot of stuff to check on this. Wonder how complicated the workbench items will get. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's work our way through it. The motherboard. Let's inspect and use our trusty multimeter. That's all good. I'm just gonna try to fly through this. It's all good. Okay, that's all good. That makes it easy. Wheel engine. Broken. 
Can I replace? Uh, let's see. Looks like I gotta just replace it. It's all like one piece. That's cool. Keep hitting inspect. Gotta replace. Seven bucks. There we go. Whisk engine. Broken. Replace. Four dollars. Sensor. Sensor's good. I'd imagine that would have been expensive. Engine. Uh oh. Fifteen dollars. Oh my. Thirty-four dollars. That's a lot more than I thought. I guess that makes sense. It is a f like a vac a whole vacuum. Circuit board. Inspect. It's good. Power button. And it's good. Main brush. Replace. Four dollars. I think it's good. It's all good. Alright, let's put it back together. I'm gonna mess this up so bad. I can't wait. Okay, there's all that. Let's get one thing at a time. Screws. So I can think that's all connected now. Oops. Uh, screw in the battery. Let's get that motherboard screwed in. The whisk engines. There we go. I gotta make sure that those are connected too. Did it connect both? No. Oh no, no I didn't. See that's where one of those mess ups would happen. Right there. Let's get these all plugged in. And this one. I literally got like one use of my solder gun in. It's gonna break. So that's got a plug in. Plug that in. Get all the screws in. There we go. Okay, let's see. I don't want to put that plate on yet, I don't think. Maybe I do. What's this go to? Engine plug. So that goes in the back. All those plugins are in. Okay, I think we're good. So screw that in. There we go. Put the engine in. Circuit board. And then I think this one has tiny screws in it. And then the screws there. Power button platform. I'm doing a good job so far. That's gonna be the last, my famous last words there. Okay, that went all the way over here. There we go. So what am I missing now? I think underneath where those little whisk things. I got the lateral brush, the main brush, the uppercase, and ah, the sensor. That's gonna be important. I should probably start using this this uh, list parts list on the bottom. That'll actually be helpful. There we go. And it needs to be connected. And solder gun's gonna break. Gone. 15 bucks. Plug it in. There we go. Okay, so we got the main brush, which goes underneath. And we got the upper case. Hmm, something's not connected. Yeah, I knew it. That's too good to be true. So I got all that screwed in. I connected both of those. Those plugins are in. 
That's plugged in. So are those. They have all the screws they need. Yes. What is missing? Okay, let's look at the boards again. Is that it? No. I know. Oh, let's see. No, you can't solder that. Well, they're all soldered. Does it do in that when I hover over that? Interact. This is weird. I guess following the wires is probably a good idea. Okay, let's check the bottom again. I'm literally missing the uppercase, the main brush, the lateral brush. Hmm. Go back to it. What did I mess up? Okay. Uh, yeah. I just spent a good part of like five minutes trying to figure this out. Apparently this button right here, the tip button, actually shows me what I'm missing. That would have helped me a long time ago and it's something that's actually what I wouldn't expect. It's this little piece right here. My goodness. Okay. Well, there we go. With the power of editing, you guys won't have to wait through that. Okay. Let's put the screws in. And that's all put together. Boom. What a pain. Test it out. Little Roomba. It's called the beeper. Set it out. Now you can have a clean house. Okay. Now that we figure that out, let's do the certification. It's time for something totally amaze balls. That's a uh, that's an interesting one. Although the other teachers are forbidding me to use such language. Time to connect separate elements of the installation, you know, like the switch and the lamp or just two different lamps. This way, you can bring electrical power anywhere you want. See how simple it is? It sounds simple. Uh, fix the switches, connect the switches to the main power supply, and turn on the lamp. Let's do it. Let's get that VR headset on. Yes. Here we go. I'm gonna have three certifications. It's time for something totally amaze balls. Yeah. Select cable management or cable placement from the radial menu by hitting tab and try to connect one of the fuses to the light switch on the wall. Next to you, uh, pay attention to the small icons. Make sure you're connecting two icons. Next, check if the switch is working by pressing the left click. Remember, every time you work with electrical installations, turn off the fuse first. <laughs> you don't want to fry, do you? Okay, let's see what the video does. Select the wire. Oh, okay, we're going right from the fuse box. And wiring in the wall, it looks like. Nice, okay, that seems simple enough. If only was that easy in real life. Select cable detection from the radial menu. To check for previously installed wires, check the current flow when the fuse is on. Cable detection, oh, that's cool. Uh, you can see the lamp icon next to the light switch. When you start placing a cable there, the icon will change to the switch icon. Just connect these two points. Try to connect cables in different ways and experiment. Uh, this place is made for fun and education, of course. Of course. So, you can grab the lamp and connect it to the, the switch icon. Okay. 
interesting. So that's basically the power that goes to all the switches, and the switches will connect to whatever lamp needs to go to. Let's, let's do it. So all everything's off. You said open up the radio menu and select the cable. So fix the switches. Connect the switches. I would imagine I need to connect them first, or they probably don't even have the electrical wire in there. So let's get them all connected first. I'll use, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's four. Now this one will go, there's no cable in your inventory. Ah, it's probably over here. Cable. There it is. Enable cable. There we go. So, this is going to be the closest one. So I'd imagine we want to go... Hmm. Let me think about that. It's going from the top. And if I have more of them, I probably want to go further over. That should be okay. Let's go down to the bottom. And... Connect. And then this... going to connect to that and that's going to connect to that and then that's going to connect to that all right probably not like that to the corner and then there there we go so that one use here will control all those lights and that's good because it's in one room so that's not a big deal and now this is going to connect to this light. That's going to connect to this one. It looks like you can have connect the multiple lights for one switch. Right, we'll just do a separate switch for each one for now. There we go. Let's see if that works. Let's get rid of that. Let's get these switches fixed. Unscrew them. Taking care of switches is elementary. Okay. I am a professional. I've been certified. Boom. If I mess this up, I'm gonna get... Uh, I'm gonna set myself up to get made fun of. Don't mess it up. Alright. That's one switch. Just gotta work our way through them. Open. And let's do the screws. Electricity. And lamp. Screw it all back in. And we're on our way. Okay, that's two out of four. If everything is going well, this is going to be one of my fastest certifications besides the first one. That uh, that's second one I got real stuck on. So hopefully that doesn't go on with this one. And here we go. We got one more. Take off the switch. Unscrew everything. Unscrew the back. Plug it in. And get it all put back together. We're golden. Now connect the switches to the main power supply and turn on the lamps. Boom. Ooh, that was loud. Yeah, now turn on that one. Yeah, I'm an electrician, people. I made it. Just like my old pops. Yeah, look at that. All right. Let's check out that fancy new certification. And there it is. That's a maze balls, as that lady says. 
certif uh, certificate of completion. The certificate is proudly presented to Valhalla Electrics. Working with cables. I'm the cable commander. All right. And I made it to reputation nine. Awesome. All right, everyone. Well, that's another episode down. I'm going to keep doing this and stay tuned for the next part. If you like the channel, make sure you support it. Uh, hit that subscribe button, leave a like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>